Hey, what's up guys and welcome to today's video and today I'm taking you through three high protein, healthy and tasty recipes that you can make quickly and easy in the morning because breakfast is the best meal of the day. I'm a simple man. I like pretty dark-haired women and breakfast food. So breakfast numero uno is going to be eggs on toast with a little twist. Um, and contrary to popular belief, you can eat bread and still hit your results. It will, it, everything in moderation, uh, as long as you're watching your calories and your macros and you're eating healthy, you can eat what you want. Me and Domi eat bread pretty much for three meals. Out of, the, <laughs> out of the day. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so the ingredients are simple. It's gonna be uh, whole eggs, egg whites, uh, turkey bacon, and some vegetables, and we're gonna top it with a sauce of your choice. Now, uh, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing two whole eggs and filling the rest with egg whites. Now, you can get liquid egg whites, or you can just separate the eggs. Now, we're gonna do the eggs first. Two whole eggs. And then we're gonna fill the rest with egg whites. So we're gonna have 200 grams of egg whites. As simple as that, preparing the uh, eggs. So next part, we're just gonna chop up the tomatoes. So you don't have to have tomatoes or vegetables in your eggs, but I would recommend it just to get some extra vitamins, fiber, and everything like that. So we're just gonna put the tomato straight in there and add the spinach while it's cooking. All right, so we're just not oil our pan with some spray. If you do have like the calorie free spray, that's perfect. We've got some coconut spray. I would recommend going with a coconut oil or like a rapeseed oil as they have better cooking temperatures rather than olive oil. Uh, so we're gonna let that heat up and literally just pour the eggs inside. There we go, getting a nice, we're gonna just leave that there to cook a little bit before adding the spinach. While that's heating up, grab our bread. This is just some Weight Watchers soft malted Danish bread. It's actually really low calorie. It's only 50 calories per slice. So we're gonna go with four slices. Uh, you can change and use whatever bread you like, just as long as it fits within your calories and macros. So don't weigh out vegetables. I just uh, throw it in. All right, so we've just mixed this up until it's nice and combined and cooked. I'm just gonna take it off the cooker, leave it to one side to cool down, and we're gonna throw our turkey bacon on. <laughs> it's a party. All right guys, so the bread is ready. Just four slices, lightly toasted, nothing too crazy, and pour the eggs on top. There is our eggs on toast, and then we just lay the bacon over the top like so and there we have it guys a low fat high protein meal macros will be on the screen here so you can use whatever sauces or toppings you like i would recommend adding some salt uh, to the mixture always add some salt to your eggs after you cook it though and pepper and yeah that is breakfast number one <laughs> right so breakfast numero dos is protein pancakes. Now, this is a real simple and easy recipe. All you need are these ingredients to make perfect, fluffy, moist protein pancakes. And most people overcomplicate it, but this is all you're going to need. So let's get started. First step is going to be 60 grams of oats. You're gonna pour it into your blender of choice. Um, just, oh God, <laughs> just like so. Do I'm just ruining this. So don't use a large bowl like this. Just I tried to do it for display aesthetic reasons, but it doesn't really work out like that. So you're gonna put the oats in like so, and then you're gonna get one scoop of your protein powder, which is 30 grams. And I'm using the My Protein Cookies and Cream because uh, it tastes pretty good. And it's, it's quite a neutral flavor, so it works really well with the pancakes. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna blend the dry ingredients. And now that's blended, are you liking my sound effects? Whoa, whoa, hey, oh. Now that's blended, all we do 
is adding the wet ingredients. So we're going to add two whole eggs. Now, if you want to make this slightly lower calorie, you can do just egg whites. So you can use two egg whites or you can do one egg white uh, and one whole egg. So yeah, we'll go with one whole egg and one egg white, which is usually around 30 to 40 grams, but I'm just going to use pre-made liquid egg whites. So I'm going to add 40 grams of that. So we're going to add one banana ranging between 80 to 100 grams. So there's 82 grams there. You're going to add 50 milliliters of your milk of choice. And then we're going to blend it again. Boom. And then there is the nice mixture. Should be all combined. Nice. And this is an optional part. If you want now, you can add some blueberries or your frozen fruit of choice. It doesn't have to be frozen, but I'm going to add 50 grams of blueberries. Um, and then I'm going to pulse it three times in the blender, just because these are quite large blueberries. You want to mix it up a little bit just to give it a bit more room to cook. So one pulse, boom, gives it a slight blue texture, cuts up the, uh, Blueberries a little bit, and then we're ready to fry. All right guys, now we've heated up the pan to a medium heat. We're gonna turn it down a little bit. Pour the mixture, sorry, straight onto the pan. Just like so, we're gonna make fairly large, probably about, how many inches is that? Six, seven inches in diameter. We're gonna cook it on each side until it's like golden brown, and the bubbles start to pop around the side. See a little bit of bubbles, like popping, popping. And what we want to do, get it underneath. And, oh, that is perfect. Um, so again, just leave it quickly on one the other side, probably for like half the time or a quarter because it's already cooked pretty through. Um, and then you just repeat until the mixture is done. And after you've made, five lovely pancakes this is the result look at that now they're not like american style super fluffy but the macros the calories the ingredients are amazing and here are the calories and the macros uh you can't really go wrong if you do want to half uh these pancakes share them you can because i know it can be quite high calorie for someone but if you know your macros it's pretty good uh, especially for the morning and a pre-workout meal. So you can top it with anything you want. You can use honey, calorie-free syrup, um, peanut butter, that goes great. Um, but yeah, this is breakfast number two and I eat this pretty much every other day. All right guys, so moving on to meal three. Breakfast three, we have high protein French toast. Um, and I know what, what you must be thinking. French toast, high protein, healthy, well, we're going to make it now with these ingredients. All right, so what are you going to do first? We're going to use the egg whites. So you can, again, just separate the eggs from the shell, but we've got some liquid ones. So we're going to do 140 grams of liquid egg whites. All right, so next step is you get your whey protein. So I've got coconut this time. Uh, my protein does so many flavors. They even have a French toast flavor, and I'm definitely going to get that next time. So we're just going to use one scoop of this. You can use any flavor you like. That's the beauty of this. So 30 grams, then you're gonna whisk it up. Make sure it's all combined. So we're gonna get your whisk. Once that's all mixed, we're just gonna add some cinnamon uh, just to taste as, many as, you, as much as you like. So we're just gonna sprinkle it over like so and mix it up. So next you're gonna add 100 milliliters of your milk of choice. I've chosen almond milk because I find that works pretty well. And then again, mix that all up. You're gonna add a pinch of salt. And there you have your batter or your mixture for the French toast. All right guys, so now we've got the mixture ready. We're moving on to our bread. Now this is a 50 calorie per slice like Danish loaf. Uh, and you have to be careful with what bread you choose. You can choose any bread you'd like, but Bread can range in calories from 50 to up to 150, so just be careful in which ones you get. Another thing you're gonna have to take into consideration is how absorbent your bread is. Uh, so if it's 
like a more dry absorbent bread, you're gonna have to use maybe a bit more liquid. Uh, but if it's more uh, soft and less absorbent, you're gonna have to use less. So just play around with it until you get the perfect ones, but this is a good baseline to start. All right guys, so now we are gonna soak the bread. So we just heated up the pan and sprayed the bottom of it so it doesn't stick um, to a medium heat. And we're gonna lightly soak the bread. So don't soak it for too long, otherwise it will lose its structure. So just like that, and then we're gonna flip it. Just like so, just so it's all nice and covered. Just like so. So you can see it's already taken quite a lot of the mixture. And, oh! And we let it cook until it's like started to brown on either side. All right, so that's been going for about a minute and a half now. And we're just gonna flip it over. Oh, yes. And we'll leave it for about equal time on the other side. All right, so I just flipped this over twice on each side and it's ready. So all we do now is repeat it for the next two slices of bread. All right, so the last, last slice. Oh, and there we go. Perfect stack of French toast. Um, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna top it with some plant bacon rashers, like so. Uh, these are really high protein, it's a nice topping. Uh, you can top it with whatever you want, but these are for Domi, so I'm doing this for her. Oh, that sizzle! All right, so once the bacon's cooked, I had to change the pan because the other one was sticking. Just gonna top it over the French toast, like so. And there you have it, guys. High protein French toast with bacon. Oh, look at this beautiful, it's so beautiful. It's so, I don't even, oh, it's so, oh, the beauty. I <laughs> All right, guys, so that wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed these recipes, and if uh, you do try them, please, hey, hey, to me, to me, I know, I know it's irresistible, but, ah! <laughs> but guys, if you do try these recipes, please send me a picture, let me know how you find it, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and smash that like button. I'll see you in the next one, and enjoy your breakfasts.